Hello, my name's Brian Waters. I'm the author of Business in God and the founder of the Waters Group Company in the UK and of Business in God Ministries. Did you know that Jesus was a businessman? When his father died, he took over the carpentry business to look after his family, his mother and his brothers and his sisters because he was the eldest. Now this is before he started his public ministry, so you can imagine Jesus in his workshop, working away, <laughs> sawing wood, making joints, banging nails, and making things. Now you imagine there's a knock on the door. Come in, Jesus says, and in comes. Hello, Margaret, he says. Hello, Jesus, how are you? Oh, I'm very well, thank you, Margaret. How can I help you? Well, Jesus, I'd like you to make a table for me, please. Okay, Margaret, how big would you like the table? Well, I'd like to have it six feet long, two feet wide, and 18 inches high, please. Okay, Jesus said, and Jesus might draw a little diagram of it and show Margaret the table. Is this the sort of table that you want, Margaret? Yes, please, Jesus, that's fine. Could you tell me how much it will cost? Yes. Now, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, has to work out how much the wood will cost, how much his labor will cost, and give Margaret a price. It's going to be three denarius, Margaret. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. Thank you, Jesus. Can you tell me when it'll be ready? Yes, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, has to now work out his schedule. Mm, I've got this job to do for Thomas, a cupboard. I've got a seat to do for Luke. Oh, and Mary wants a cabinet, but I'm still waiting for the wood for that. Um, it's going to be about two weeks, Margaret. Is that okay? Yes, thank you, Jesus. That's fine. Bye-bye. Three weeks later, there's a knock on the door. Come in, Jesus says. Hello, Jesus. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, Margaret. How are you? I'm very well. Is my table finished? Yes, Margaret. It's over there. Look, can you see it? Oh, yes, it's wonderful. Thank you. Oh, and those legs, Jesus, they're so lovely. I never thought you'd make such wonderful legs for it. Oh, thank you. Here's the money. Margaret gives the money to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, has taken the money from Margaret. He has made a profit on making the table, and she goes away with it very happily. When Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist, at the start of his public ministry, the heavens opened and a dove descended upon him, and a voice spoke from heaven, which said, This is my Son, in whom I am well pleased. God was well pleased with Jesus right up to that moment. Jesus couldn't have done anything more perfect for him because God was well pleased with him. The point that I want to make is that Jesus had only been a student a carpenter, apprentice, and a businessman up to that point, and God was well pleased with him. You see, it means that we can please God. He can be well pleased with us being a carpenter, a plumber, a candlestick maker. Because God is a worker, and he's made us in his image. When we work, we fulfill that creativity that he's given to us, we can envision with our mind. We can draw and plan. And we can create from nothing. That's because God's made us a mini-creator just like him. I just want to let you into a little secret also. You know, Margaret saw those legs on that table and she said, wow, they're beautiful. Well, God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, joined Jesus in his workshop. They designed those legs together. And they made them together. And do you know what? They enjoyed working and making those. Because our God is as creative as you are. More creative, but he's given you some of that creativity. So rejoice in that creativity. Rejoice in your work. Embrace it and move into it. And allow him to work through you. God bless you all.